We're here at WHB, lot number 681004. We have some small square bales for you here, just outside of Christine, North Dakota, just south of Fargo. See, we have all these uh, stacked in a shed. You see the uh, back there, the 2015 hay. This is 2016. That's some beautiful looking hay. I mean, man, look at the leaves on this stuff. I've split a couple of these bales open and it's nothing but nice leaf through and through. Look at all that. Pretty and green. Uh, a little bit larger diameter stems, but that's pretty standard for that first cutting. This is a variety of a couple different cuttings here. Uh, they have just enough for that uh, full truckload to go out, but they will take a little bit less. Over here in the light, you can see the contrast between the uh, 2015, you know, second, third, and fourth, fifth cutting, and the new stuff that they just brought in. Let's look at the color on this stuff. And just all the leaf retention. This outstanding bale. Now they say that uh, their testing brought back 200 RFV on this stuff. I can definitely believe it. Let's see this bale is uh, kind of folded in half here. Probably a rebale, but and just look at that. That's some of the best hay I've seen. Just look how pretty that is. All the stuff of this uh, newer year alfalfa I've looked at has been this way. It's soft to the touch. And it has soft stems despite being a little bit larger. And just look at that color. Yeah, just it's a sharp contrast between some of this other hay that we have here. That's kind of an edge bale for this to sit on and you know, this premium alfalfa here. And that's that's worth every penny if you're wanting high quality feed and this is the place to go. Can't go wrong with these bales. They've got the equipment to get this stuff loaded to a semi.